What about President Obama? Has he lost any sort of influence, if there ever was any, with the U.S. versus Russia? I mean, is he any different than any other president? Do we look feckless uh, in our effort to try to get Snowden back? Is it, a, is it sort of a, a small picture of the, of the bigger issues confronting our two countries? I talk to leaders, particularly in the Middle East, where I travel a lot, as you know. They say there's no American leadership, and that's correct. Would do they say anything more personal about the president himself? I mean, do they say that, you know, is it President Obama or is it just our country? I think it's very clear that they believe that President Obama is not a player on in the international scene. That President Obama, which is characterized as behavior, does not want to get involved or engaged in really in international security issues. The Chinese obviously orchestrated this individual's visit uh, trip from Hong Kong to Moscow. It wouldn't happen unless the Chinese had told him to. Just a few weeks ago, a short time ago, he had the shirt sleeve summit and things were going to be better. They do not respect us. President Obama, it, President Obama wants these people to like him. What he should be wanting is for them to respect him. That's what they felt about Ronald Reagan and frankly also Bill Clinton. Is President Obama not interested so much in this? Is it his ideology or he just can't do it? Or what is the problem that, uh, that you see in terms of his relationship versus Putin and Russia and even China? It's hard for me to psychoanalyze the president, but there's no doubt of a few facts. One is that he was going to be the non-Bush, i.e. not get involved in things like Afghanistan and uh, and, and Iraq, that uh, he would establish a new relationship with Iran. Remember, he didn't speak up at all in behalf of those demonstrators after the election in 2009 when they were begging for his, his moral support in the streets of Tehran. And that he believed with his kind of approach to international relations, we could be liked and our adversaries, whether they be Iran or Russia or China, that this would be a new brand and a new day. When the fact is that these people respect power. And I'm not saying we threaten them. But I do say that we have to lead. And if we don't lead, then they will. That's one of the lessons here of what's been happening recently, whether it be in Syria or whether, whether this Snowden thing is the other aspect of it. The president goes again to Germany and he gives a speech. The major cornerstone is reduction in nuclear weapons. The Russians immediately scoffed at it. Compared to that, the speeches that Ronald Reagan made in Germany and President Kennedy made in Germany, uh, I mean, does, does, I think he does not understand the realities of politics and st strategy and the meaning of leadership in the world. Are you saying, to be quite bluntly, he's in over his head? I don't know if the in over his head is the right word, but certainly oblivious to certain realities as far as our national security are concerned. So where does this